so today as y'all saw on my previous track hole video we had a shaft in the final drive go down on this cat e120b i don't know why i keep wanting to call it an eb120 but it's an e120b come on this side robert what we've done so far is we have took the parts cleaner and sprayed this out i have a uh, and i see another little piece i've got a magnetic screwdriver that i reach in there and gotten all the metal shavings out with as best i could uh had another magnet reached in there and got the metal shavings out best i could and then we flushed it out with parts cleaner probably flush it out one more time before we uh completely seal it back up but right here is a bucket of diesel fuel and that's what i've been using to wash the parts well, i've been dipping them down in there it helps get the you see how normally that diesel fuel would be red you see how dark it's turned but using that to get that old nasty gear oil off and then then i'm taking a little grease and been trying to keep everything as clean as possible that's hard to do out here in the field but take a dab of grease and rub on that washer on both sides that washer rides right there on that on that shaft like that and that's part of the reason for the grease that helps that washer stick up there right here's your gear set and there's a burn inside of it, three piece. It's a three piece deal. And I've been taking it apart. And I don't know if y'all see it, but there's just little metal shavings in there. So we're trying to get all these little metal shavings washed out of this gear set. And then we got to take this gear set apart and wash the, uh, wash it too. That's the reason. And then I've been taking the well, first I take the take the burn cone and y'all see that old gear old been washing it off of it. Inside and outside. Take a clean rag and wash the diesel off of it. Once I get the diesel fuel off of it, I take it, put, rub it down in grease. And Bob's been pumping the grease for me, but he's been promoted to film director. So I put that in the inside and the outside. Slide that on the shaft. Then I get my needles. Give them one more splash and on these needle burns I've been taking the air holes and holding it, holding it away from me and blowing that diesel off and I hope that if there's any that if there's any shavings I'll blow them off see I just saw one I just see two or three people in little shavings blow off and that uh that shaft is the only thing we can find that went down i don't know why it did it but it did it and a little backstory on that we've been searching for just about two days straight for that shaft Cat said I could find it. I could get it. But it was $500. And it had to come from Japan. And it'd be 10 to 14 days. 
and we really need this machine running as much as it can and i'm blowing the gear teeth out too but i called boyd in paducah kentucky and they gave me a part number and that was able to help our search out tremendously and uh they They hooked us up with the sal like they hooked us up with the salvage yard, and uh, he's the one that actually found a part number for us. And I done some more research and found some on the internet, but the shaft was for a uh, early model E120B, the Mitsubishi version. The model that replaced this was Cat 312, and. Uh, we just happened to know somebody that had a Cat 312. And uh, we went and looked at the shaft on it, and it was just about a half inch longer. Well, anyways, we took it, milled it down to the same length as ours, come over here, put it in for a test, and it worked. So if you have a late model E120B, you can use the shaft of a 312 if you just got to modify it. But that might be good for, you know, somebody to know down the road. I guess this, I'm going to call this video we one out. Just final drive repair where maybe it'll, oh, crap, help somebody down the road. I need my mechanics chair. I'm out of parts cleaner. But we'll give that a good wipe down with the rag and wipe it down with grease. You can see where them gears run against that. Yeah, I'll give that a good wipe down. I'll bring y'all back in a minute. All right. Red Loctite is what they had on this. That's what's going to go back on. It's been all or nothing. You can't do nothing. Else. Well, you can just put the solid dog. Now you take them off for a minute. Make this get a lot of faster. Uh. A generous coat. There's going to be some new style Loctite. I ain't too crazy about it. Don't you know, stay on the three. It's not too good. No, don't you put no dirt on your belly. He's trying to make it look like he's been working without actually doing the work. He goes home to his mama as to why he's so dirty. He says, I've been working. Like baloney. Baloney. <laughs> All right, give her the tight. <laughs> Only one more gear set to go. Now we got another sun gear. Just, we got a sun gear just gonna go in here. They call this the sun gear and the shaft, the sun shaft. Ooh. It ain't pretty, but we're gonna stick it in there for now. 
Go in there and put that on our to get list. I like this gear to take the bone of the punishment. Uh, we just slid that set of gears in here. We got to get our thing and take this plate off and go through this whole rigmarole of cleaning out the burns one more time. Get this set cleaned out. Our shaft will be ready to slide in. We got to clean our... Uh, Got to clean uh, our outer ring here where we can slide our outer cover in. Put our gear old in and this will be operational. Ah, uh, that's in there. Bring the main culprit. Oh, the problem child. You dirty little rascal, you. You the dirty little rascal. Voila, That's, that was the main culprit. We went from no teeth to teeth. Look, that's my cake. It's a lot messier. Infield repairs, never perfect, and it's thunder. We tell Walt that was us, and he'd probably try it. I'm sure he would. Kids these days are easily, easily persuaded. Ain't they good role models like these Joyce boys? <laughs> parents at home are saying no not really <laughs> we've heard the way you talk but I'm a great motivator you can do whatever you set your mind to just just watch the movie Rudy <laughs> if you got enough money you can definitely do whatever you set your mind to. Just remember, guys, if you're trying to find a woman, good looks and money always helps. <laughs> there you, honky. <laughs> <laughs>